हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस भिडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडियोज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदेव गोटे इंपोर्टां जिनस भिडियोज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छे तुम ताक पढ़े कर एडभांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूसन प्रति भिडियोज पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकू ड्रप डाउन लिस्ट को तुम क्लिक कर डाउनलोड पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे जो मोर चेल नेम अच्छी या क्लिक कर तुम ये प्ले लिस्ट को जा प्रति भिडज को यूनिट व्वज एज पर सिलबस सजे कि रखी थी तुम सर्च कर ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज टपिक क्वांटम कनफाइनमेंट विषय पढ़ा सो एज यू हाव स्टडीड व्वेन वि टेक् a material body a bulk material and we divide it into small pieces and reach up to the smallest particle that is your nano size dimension then that small nano crystals or nano materials we can see the electronic energy levels are now not continuous as that were in the bulk or macroscopic material right rather the energy levels are discrete which is shown by the existence of finite density of states okay remember here bulk means macroscopic can be seen by the human eye but the nano materials are microscopic cannot be seen by the human eye or naked eye now why this happen because of the confinement of electronic wave function to the physical dimension of the particle which is in the nano range right and this phenomenon is called quantum confinement and therefore the nano crystals are also called quantum dots right suppose for a semiconductor particle the quantum confinement occurs when the nano crystal radius becomes comparable to the exciton bohr radius as you have studied in the beginning of your nano scale system right now the confinement will lead to a transition from continuous to discrete energy levels right when the materials are so small that they lie in the quantum confinement regime that is in the nano order then their electronic and optical properties changes right they deviate substantially from those of your bulk materials okay so the discrete structures of energy states will lead to a discrete absorption spectrum for a nano structure okay as you can see in the figure on the left side we have taken the bulk material clearly it is having a valence band which is continuous and a conduction band and it is also continuous and they are divided by a forbidden gap or a forbidden energy gap which is eg but on the right side we have the nano structure or quantum dot which is having discrete energy levels so this is the valence one this is the conduction one and as you can see it is not continuous rather it is discrete okay and the gap is eg again the forbidden gap okay so a quantum confined structure is the one in which the motion of the electrons and holes are confined in one or more direction by the potential barriers right now if the charge carriers are confined along one direction and delocalized means they are free in the other two dimension okay suppose means we have taken three dimension right suppose this is x this is y and this is z suppose we block the z direction that means it is confined okay and it is free to move along the x and y direction this is what it is saying so what will happen the resultant structure will be a quantum well right and when the confinement occurs in two dimension okay we block two di dimension and only allow it to move along the other dimension okay the carriers are delocalized or free in the remaining third dimension then the resultant structure will be a quantum ware or nano ware this we have studied in the previous classes now finally a quantum dot is what it may have a shape of a tiny cube right and a short cylinder or a sphere like structure with nanometer 
डायमेंशन एंड इट एग्जिबिट कॉन्फाइनमेंट इन ऑल द थ्री डायमेंशन ओके इट इज नॉट फ्री टू मूव इन एनी डायरेक्शन ओके देर इज नो डी लोकलाइजेशन इन दिस केस ऑफ योर क्वांटम डॉट ओके लेट अस एनालाइज अ टेबल व्हिच इज समराइजिंग द कॉन्फाइनमेंट एंड डी लोकलाइजेशन डायमेंशन फॉर वेरियस नैनो स्ट्रक्चर राइट एज यू कैन सी इन द टेबल फर्स्ट द क्वांटम स्ट्रक्चर देन क्वांटम कॉन्फाइनमेंट डायमेंशन देन डी लोकलाइजेशन और फ्री डायमेंशन सपोज यू फर्स्ट टेक बल्क कंडक्टर ओके सो कॉन्फाइनमेंट इज जीरो एंड डी लोकलाइजेशन मीन्स फ्री डायमेंशन इज थ्री विच इज एक्स वाई जेड देन क्वांटम वेल और सुपर लैटिस दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एंड इट इज हैविंग वन कॉन्फाइनमेंट एंड टू फ्री डायमेंशन देन ऑन द थर्ड वन क्वांटम वेयर हैविंग टू कॉन्फाइनमेंट डायमेंशन एंड वन फ्री डायमेंशन एंड फाइनली द क्वांटम डॉट और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड योर नानो क्रिस्टल्स हैविंग थ्री कॉन्फाइनमेंट डायमेंशन बट जीरो फ्री डायमेंशन ओके so the important thing is that the more will be the number of confined dimensions the more discrete energy levels can be found or in other words the carrier confinement is strongly confined in a given dimension right now mathematically the case of quantum well is similar to the particle in a one dimensional box similarly quantum wire is similar to the particle in a two dimensional box and quantum dot that is your nano crystal is similar to the particle in a three dimensional box which is quantum box so these things we will study in the next classes okay by applying schrodinger wave equation okay now the density of states already we have derived the density of states for 0 1 2 and 3 dimension that expression so it determines the various electronic and other properties as shown in the figure okay this is the figure the bulk that is three dimension then quantum well which is 2d quantum wire which is 1d and quantum dot which is having zero dimension okay now they differ dramatically for each of the three nano structure types thus the nature of dimensionality and of the confinement which is associated with a particular nano structure will have a noticeable effect on its properties okay these things we have already derived in case of bulk material that is 3d the density of state is proportional to the square root of energy so we are having a graph like this now in case of your quantum well that is two dimension state the density of state is rather independent of energy and it is associated with a heavy side function or unit step function so that the energy levels are rather having sub band and we are getting a shape of a staircase okay paha cha bolya ero shape ta tapare quantum wire ba one dimension re ame dekhu chu it is inversely proportional to the square root of energy and also it is associated with heavy side function or unit step function so it is like this okay the first one vertical line it is having constant energy and this curve line is actually the inverse proportionality of density of state with the square root of energy right and lastly the quantum dot having zero dimension it is associated with the delta function and its graph is like this okay so this is all about your quantum confinement in the next classes we will apply the schrodinger wave equation for the particle in 1 2 and 3 dimensional and also we'll study about the potential step okay thank you